So, good afternoon, one and all. Welcome to yet another session of uh, India Startups Expo 2020 to the boot camp. And today's session, we are going to have a very special guest of honor. That is uh, none other than uh, Dr. Shakur. He is the mentor of Atal uh, initiation by this uh, government of India, Ministry of uh, I mean, Niti Ayo. So he will be joining us shortly. And we have a galaxy of speakers as well to take it further from here. And uh, we have some important announcement for the participants who will be joining the pitch day on 23rd and 24th. For 23rd and 24th, the pitch day, we have made a very elaborate arrangement to join all the uh, participants to join concurrently and have one-to-one -one, uh, interaction. Okay, so I now call upon Mr. Shawaz Khan to come and join us on this session. Yeah, good Hi, Partha. How do you do? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, well, I'm doing uh, very well this afternoon. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much uh, for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, thank you to your entire team. And also, uh, big gratitude uh, to the audience for uh, taking time this. Uh, Sunday afternoon exactly. to, exactly. to, 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 Not only to come Sunday up. And, uh, this is our third day and uh, so much of the fifth session of the event. And the online participation has been very, very, very encouraging. Okay, so Good. we yesterday we had about uh, 1300 <coughs> viewers uh, going online and the day before it is uh, almost the same figure. And the previous day, we, we had more than about uh, 80, 90 viewers from uh, across the globe. So people from Myanmar, people from uh, Malaysia, and so on and so forth. So, Dr. Shakur, if you are uh, listening, your device is not connected. So, uh, Sabaz, I just request you to go ahead and give your self-introduction. In the meantime, I'll take Dr. Shakur online. Please go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, just uh, just before I begin my introduction, uh, Partha, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I was said that uh, all of the attendees, they are young participants. So uh, they are uh, either uh, college students and uh, or they are aspiring entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. Yes, yes, upcoming entrepreneurs, startups, basically. So it, it gives me a sense of satisfaction uh, uh, because if, if these people are uh, proactively contributing and coming and attending events like this, uh, it gives me a sense of satisfaction uh, and uh, makes me a little bit uh, makes me a little bit uh, less bothered about the future because these are the people who are going to be. Uh, on the forefront of uh, job creation and you know, on, on the forefront of solving tough problems and coming up with uh, innovative ideas and innovative business models. And uh, I, I think that is what we're here to discuss today. Exactly, exactly. So now why uh, Dr. Abdul Shakur has joined us. Okay, so yeah. take him online. Sure. Welcome Dr. Shakur, yeah. how do you do? Yeah, fine. Uh, am I audible? Yeah, there is a little bit disturbance. Some humming noise is coming. Okay, am I audible now? Of course, it is audible. But still, the disturbance is definitely there. Okay. Maybe some loose contact with the jack or something. Like no, I don't. Uh, maybe. Let me get it. Okay. Okay. Hello? No, sir. It is still there. It is still there. What about now? Maybe Hello? I suggest you disconnect and rejoin once again. That could be the better option. Okay. 
Am I audible now? Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, no, you are audible, but what I mean is there is some background music, some uh, little bit humming There's sound. There is no coming. noise here. I don't know how it is coming. Is it maybe the system noise or whatever it is? Uh, it could be a system you noise. You touch something and it is uh, disappearing. Uh, okay. Again, it is coming back. Okay, I think I think these technical hitches are bound to be with us for some time. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, uh, maybe we can try with the... some mobile. Uh, uh, Doctor Abdul, do you have any other mobile device or something like that? Uh, maybe yes, you yes. Can I was actually using the laptop. Let me let me try my mobile. Let me try my mobile. That could be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think if we fix this in the beginning, uh, it will be better. The audience will be more engaged. Mr. Shabar, is it okay now? No, no, no. It's, uh, we're still hearing uh, some humming noise, some background noise. Okay, okay, Mr. Bhaktiar, are you there? Can you introduce yourself? Can you unmute your mic and uh, audio video? Start uh, Shabas, the tech Shepard, you can start yeah. your presentation, maybe. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, I think, uh, well, first to give a quick uh, background, uh, so so as that just uh, we are all seeing, yeah. So, my name is Shabas Khan, and uh, I, I was. Uh, so I had a very humble beginning. I was born and brought up uh, in uh, families of Tata. So my uh, almost uh, four generation, this is the fourth generation that is uh, working in from for Tata. So uh, and it, this was an engineering company. My my father and my grandfathers, they were uh, employed in a company which, uh, which is into generation of electricity. And we stayed in, uh, we stayed in apartments in colonies, which was very close to the power plant so i always had a sort of background and you know uh, always saw uh, technical activities around uh, and on on the other side uh, all my uh, maternal uncles they were they were into field of business they were in either into uh, uh, restaurant retail chains and one of my uncle he was into uh, selling ice candy sticks so uh, so on the one side i was in the in the technical domain happening and on the other side uh, i was doing uh, during my vacation i was doing uh, selling or uh, you know managing day to day operations so uh, so so essentially a combination of uh, uh, engineering plus business acumen is, is where uh, is how i grew up and uh, the interesting part uh, about my sort of upbringing was Mm. We always, uh, uh, being from a middle class background, we always uh, had a very frugal approach to solve problems. So whenever there was some, uh, uh, there there was some issue with the either appliance or uh, either anything, my my grandfather or my dad used to take up the screwdriver and you know start to uh, tinker around to see see what's wrong to save money. So uh, you know that that uh, essentially led me to uh, have curiosity in in engineering and you know. 
uh, solving problems. Uh, and uh, I, I did my uh, diploma in engineering and then uh, joined uh, VIT in Pune and graduated in, in 2014. Uh, and uh, fortunately, after that, I got uh, uh, an opportunity to work with the global banking giant. This was the Bank of New York and Milan. Uh, and uh, th this was the uh, emphasis of the book that I read, which is called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Uh, and, uh, uh, and I wanted to explore the, the, the world of finance because I had this uh, vision in the back of my mind that I have to uh, build an enterprise in, 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 in the long run. Uh, so I worked in uh, Bank of New York Milan for uh, close to five years years and uh, uh, and uh, after that uh, i i started a company with uh, one of my college friends and uh, this was into uh, compostable plastic so you everyone uh, out here might have heard about the plastic ban which uh, happened in 2018 so we started uh, uh, distributing and selling uh, compostable bags which are like 100% eco friendly made up of corn and potato starch and uh, it it went really well but uh, to our dismay it, uh, uh, it it got shut down because of government regulation the product that we were selling it was four times expensive as compared to normal plastics uh, and uh, the the ban on plastics was uh, uh, relaxed i mean there was a loophole in that that was introduced to allow uh, plastics in, uh, because we that is the reason we we couldn't sustain in the game uh, after that uh, stint, uh, I, uh, with one of my other friends, I started Novoration Global. So uh, uh, we started Novoration Global as a system integrator and a solution provider for uh, IoT and machine learning pro projects. But then eventually we realized that uh, the actual challenge in the market is not with building the solutions, but, but with uh, identifying where the opportunity to uh, create maximum value is as in uh, the, the commercialization of the product. So, so we, we found a very big opportunity in the, uh, uh, we, we thought there is a very big uh, opportunity in the consulting space uh, as, uh, as opposed to building the solution. So we pivoted to this uh, innovation consulting model and uh, that, that is where we are at this moment. So essentially uh, enterprises, uh, to improve uh, return on investment on innovation spends, uh, and uh, pretty much what we are going to talk about is uh, is coming from my experience uh, interacting with uh, people here uh, in in India and around the globe and uh, across industry verticals. So over to you, Partha. Partha? Uh, sorry, Partha, you're on mute. We cannot hear you. Yeah, you can start your session, uh, Shabab. Par uh, Dr. Shakur is having some issues maybe with the device. He will be logging in with some other device. You can start your presentation, no problem. Partha, you, you aren't audible. We cannot hear you. Are you able to hear me now? Am I audible? Dr. Shakur, if you are uh, yes. ready with the uh, things, you can start your presentation, not to issue. Uh, just give me a couple of minutes. Actually, I was more on the technical <laughs> troubleshooting and then on the presentations. So okay. maybe I can, without presentation, I can just, you know. Yeah, you can go it. ahead, not to worry. Whenever it is ready, you can give the start the uh, session. Good. You can start it, not to worry. Give me a couple of minutes. Let me just, you know. Okay. What about you, Shabazz? Are you ready with the presentation, maybe?
Shabazz, you are able to hear me? Shabazz? Are you able to hear me? Shabazz? Hello? Dr. Shakur, are we ready? Yes. Hello? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You can start Hello. it, not to worry. Yeah, you, it's all set. We are live. You can start your session. Hello? Yeah, Shabazz. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shabad, are you ready? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. Can I start the share screen? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as uh, first of all, congratulations to the whole team of you know uh, India Startup Expo. Uh, for taking such initiative and uh, which is also the need of the hour as post covid scenario has pushed us uh, more on to the digital world uh, the virtual rather than you know uh, and we have to be ready for the future which is which is uh, much much more unpredictable as well as you know uh, much much difficult why why I'm saying this the reason being uh, uh, unlike the old pandemics if you can recall uh, it probably the first time in our uh, whatever human historical record that we had uh, with all of us across the world this is the first time that the whole world has been impacted at the same time I mean for example if you look back in the history there have been pandemics uh, almost in every century uh, and half of the world has been you know, completely shut down and we have been blocked from you know, moving around and doing things. But we never had the history where the whole world was brought into a halt situation. Be it on air, be it on road, be it on you know, land, be it on water, be it on anything. The entire movement of humans were stopped. For some time, and still there are you know uh, incidents that are come popping up at every here and there now and then, and things are still unpredicted, which is the way forward. Everybody is exploring how to you know come back and bring that normalcy in human life. But in such a difficult time, and luckily we have internet with us, which our previous generation did not have. So now uh, with in uh, with this internet, we are able to uh, you know uh, come alive on virtually, if not physically, uh, and uh, 
we can uh, start thinking how to you know move forward and bring the normalcy in our life. Now here is the role of startups. Why uh, why startups? Why why we want to emphasize on the startups? The reason being, first of all, we have to understand what the startup ecosystem is all about. As I have been a part of this ecosystem for quite some time now, as uh, my journey started uh, quite uh, long back with the AIC Telecom, my finishing school in Chennai, uh, IT finishing school, uh, with one of my classmates. Then uh, gradually uh, we learned that uh, you know the future is all about uh, virtual. So uh, we have been, I personally, uh, I was lucky to be a part of a team who have been working on you know. Um, on digital transformation of everything, uh, it, uh, whatever you now, it's quite popular. Of it. in the last six seven months, people are almost using without understanding the terminologies as well, like augmented reality, machine learning, and all those things. Uh, so, uh, but luckily, I was a part of the team who uh, proactive with this, and uh, we did transform some of the you know drastic things that you might uh, see in your life. Uh, those things have been you know, designed and thought by uh, the team I was part of, which are impacting on everyday life. Uh, now coming back to the present, uh, now what I see is that uh, this uh, the startup ecosystem in India, especially, uh, has a very vital role to play for the way forward. And luckily, uh, we have the you know uh, vision of the, uh, the national leadership. In there, uh, be it the PMO office, be it the Niti IO, be it the you know all the think tanks that are available uh, in India. So everybody is you know focusing and they are realizing the need, the need uh, to, uh, what is the solution rather than the problem. Problem is there, new problems are bound to pop up every now and then. Now uh, uh, the startup ecosystem, if it can be you know more alive across the nation so it is bound to solve the uh, local problems instant rather than you know waiting for someone uh, from uh, a particular department or a particular nation to come down to india or a particular region to help them out with their problems so this uh, this vibrancy in the you know mindset of people has to be changed uh, as a country we have become a job seekers rather than job creators that is another problem which has you know drastically created a lot of issues on employment and even uh, and directly and indirectly impacted the entire economy as well. So uh, looking forward to bring back you know and make this country as uh, self-dependent, what you call the Atma Nirvata. Now Atma Nirvata, what is what is self-dependence? If you look into depth of the world, the self-dependency comes from first of all you know realizing your potential. To what you can do rather than what you uh, what others can make you do. So there is a big difference. So first of all, we have to get our attitude right. Okay, uh, and secondly, we are running behind uh, off late. We have been running behind uh, media rather than the you know uh, objectives of our life. But I say media. Uh, the most common medium in today's world, star fiction has become the currency, uh, which uh, in India we call it rupees, uh, in US we call it dollar, and in Middle East we call it dinar, and blah blah, and etc. etc. So now, but in reality, what is the truth of it? It is, it is just a medium which we human have discovered, and uh, for the ease of transactions. But unfortunately, the medium has become the objective of doing everything and that is another uh, major issue why we all are suffering you know and we are um, lagging the innovations in our life like if you look back the old days in india we used to be the torch bearer in, uh, in the field of innovations uh, we the sun lab, if you look at uh, we are the one to give you know to the world uh, how to calculate time, how to calculate day, how to calculate times. In this so many, yeah. Uh, now, uh, now that, that 
that is something which has uh, make us uh, do some introspection uh, and we need to first we have to be honest with ourselves then we can be honest Honest to others, which is actually again, uh, you know, a wasted of time. If we look at time, is very crucial. And time is something which we all have limited in our hand. Nobody on earth is here eternal. We all are here to leave the earth, not to stay on the earth. But our actions, our work, can stay for much, much longer than our physical presence on earth. This is one part of reality which we always need to remember. Uh, and that is what actually will push us for you know, giving our best shot every day. So my suggestion would be focus on the solutions uh, rather than just finding out the problems. Because problems uh, you cannot predict. There will be unpredictable problems in everybody's journey. Uh, whatever way you take forward, these are startup enthusiasts, these are uh, you know, institutional guidance or mentor or whatever way you do. We all are going to face some uncertain and unknown problems which are yet to come up. So we need to be mentally ready first. And we have to bring in the ability to think, to solve any un, uh, you know, uh, undiscovered or uh, absolutely uh, unprepared kind of situation if we put, a, put ourselves in. Then how do we you know, think? The ability to think is most important. You know, how do we you know, develop this thinking attitude in us? In the start of the business model, if you look at uh, everybody, I do go with many people and I have seen many people that doing wonderful jobs, no doubt, no design. But my suggestion to the whole thing is that uh, we need to uh, you know, incalculate the ability of uh, individuals to become, in two sense, a self dependent rather than you know, uh, guiding them for to. Um, become a part of, a, of some, uh, what do you call, institutions or incubation center or you go work in a space or whatever we are, infrastructure. I would rather call it a one word, infrastructure. So rather than people guiding people to the infrastructure things, well, uh, well, let me share why I'm saying this. Because last two, last last 10 days, I was in an uh, on-road tour of uh, uh, Madhya Pradesh, which is one of the largest, largest state in India. So uh, uh, while traveling on road, uh, I saw uh, a man, a single man, uh, was you know churning out uh, the what you call it, oil. Uh, in Hindi you call it kodu. So earlier days we used to see ki jo cow log leke ghumte that kind of thing. In center you have a chakki at where you put in and then you know. Uh, the two rocks are there in between it crushes the thing, seeds and you get the things out of it. So be it uh, uh, art or be it anything. So what that guy was doing, side of the road had a simple you know rock, put it above that were another rock, and in between there was a rod. He connected it with a bike, two wheel. And that two wheel handle was been stuck in a fixed manner. And it was rotating in the circular way, automatically, and that without any driver. And that two wheeler was actually acting as a pulley and a bully, bull kind of thing, force. And and he single-handedly, without any electricity, without any you know power connection, without anything, he was able to produce enough for the whole day to you know bring the business out. So I was wondering, see, such kind of innovations, when it is available to you know the mindset wise, if you look at. So uh, when we are when we are pushed to you know uh, the hardest situation, then we see the best out of us. So as a uh, you know nature has pushed all of us as a humanity, the nature has pushed us to one of the toughest situation as I as we have read. So the first time we are seeing the whole world has been put on hold at the same time. So, which is the uh, rarest of the year, and we never cared about it in, in, in 
since you know whatever time we had all the historical records you can anyone can explore it the art has never seen this situation so this is the first time in human history that got seen we are at the bottom of all as a world not just in the nation or the country or the region so now uh, it's very high time we need to think we need to think for collaboration and we need to stop thinking reinventing things before any solution that you think of any problem my suggestion is please uh, explore on the net uh, whether someone has already done that or not if somebody has already done that try to find out the learnings from it reduce your time in something which has been already experimented so that way we can you know uh, minimize our errors we can maximize our efforts and we can produce much more uh, results in a shorter version of time uh, than others that's for sure and we can be more productive as simple as so when i say productive if i am saying product because the uh, end of the day uh, in economical term we say a word economies of scale so now economies of scale is nothing but in a very simple term if i explain i would uh, if I, i need to explain then i can say ki bhai aapko banana zyada hai kam time as simple as that if you can produce more in less time then you are on economies of scale as simple as that so how to do that so that is where our focus has to be so my suggestion is uh, is always look for collaborations uh, rather than trying to do things of yourself and uh, there is no harm uh, if we uh, sharing models there are a lot of options available and everybody realize this now if i you know accumulating wealth for individuals is not going to work for a long time uh, been it has already stopped for most of the people so now uh, we have to share the work workload we have to share the vision and people who are having common visions try to connect with them that is most important as a first step i would suggest to bring out any solution now um, let me just run through a small you know presentation about the business page wise uh, which is again because in economical term uh, in my last couple of years i have been a part, you know part of a central university uh, in delhi uh, as a uh, consultant for the all the young minds uh, and i have introduced certain courses on start so what my experience is the young minds are in india are very very poor on uh why i'm saying this because most of them as i said earlier they were all you know job seekers they started their uh, educational journey in some schools college with an ambition of to becoming an engineer or a doctor uh, nothing less than that <laughs> so 90% of the students are you know having that ambition in india uh, which is unfortunate uh, and but anyway that but the potential in indi- every individual what i saw in my last couple of years uh, that they, they are so bright so brilliant the only thing they needed is the right kind of guidance right kind of you know self dependency attitude bringing in and uh, uh, just a push to the direction the rest they will walk on their own that i personally uh, have seen people doing it and i'm confident if we can push everyone to become really entrepreneurial and then definitely we can you know uh, uh, see some uh, a very surprising results in very short time so uh, i'll just share on a small business pitch template because i feel this is uh, this is where uh, most of the queries when you plan a startup uh, you might have that you know what the need of the app so you might have seen this uh, Doctor Park, can you just uh, help me in doing sharing my screen? Because this window wants to share the content of the screen to. Yeah, got it. Um.
explode. Yeah, uh, anyway, I think there's some problem in this. The window shell is not functioning. Yeah, anyway, I think uh, there's some problem in this. Uh, and now, coming as I was discussing problems, I know the problems popping up and all. Uh, so, the point is just keep the business pitch wise to look at. So, what are the key aspects that we need to understand is that, first of all, as I said, we have to be very clear on uh, identifying a problem, uh, um, uh, solving a problem. There are two different aspects. Mm. Now, when we see, look around, uh, any problem, be it especially on the uh, environment front, I would say if you can focus, there's so many opportunities popping up and the green energy and everything. Everything is interconnected if you look at it. Uh, when I say green energy, for example, their automobile industry connected to it, their power generation units connected to it. Uh, very soon you, we all might see, you know, the, the entire petroleum industry is, is vanishing and uh, in, in front of uh, uh, petrol and diesel gas stations, you might see electrical charging station very soon. So, uh, so uh, everything is interconnected. So, uh, when we talk about green energy, every every aspect, be it in your house, be it in your outside, be it in your office, be it on the road, everywhere you will see the impact of it. Now, if you can think on where you can contribute, so look for your inside potential, what you are passionate about. If it is a social entrepreneurship thing on that front, if it is a you know uh, technological uh, entrepreneurship thing on uh, that potential, you have a potential thing on that front. Mm. So you can start from anywhere. The startup is not about uh, you know getting uh, commercial angle from day one. It is basically an act to solve a, a problem which is existing, and uh, you need to you know. Uh, and you need to, you know, uh, just uh, work, you know, first focus on the you know, contribution that you are, uh, that you are confident of making uh, to the world, rather than you know what you can get from the world. Uh, what you can give to the world is the way forward. If you can, uh, you know, think, start from that point, I am confident that you will sooner or later you will see the light uh, and, and end of the tunnel, and. Uh, uh, rest will automatically happen. You need not think much of that. Like, uh, be it investor, you know, because most of the time I am here, the uh, young mind, he said, Pass in, he said, Cash is start. So I said, to Think what money you need. Then they, you know, uh, uh, just uh, force to smile and then uh, get back and start thinking. So, so think we don't need money, first of all. So let's, um, uh, you know, uh, just remove that block from the head. So um, as we have already started and we have already at the ideation stage, um, they might understand my point much easier compared to the one we are yet to begin. So I would suggest people who have already started and we are at the ideation stage, uh, try to explore the uh, economic angles of it. Because if it is, you know, not uh, easy to e buy for the people, uh, then definitely it, it won't sustain for long term. So for sustainability, always try to figure out how you can minimize the cost and maximize the benefits. So economies of scale can be achieved. And uh, uh, automatically your profitability will also decrease uh, uh, as soon as you can, you know, uh, bring out that formula. 
okay, how you can reach to the maximum people with the minimum cost. So by putting you know uh, uh, high cost uh, and reach uh, proportionate people, uh, definitely will not work. So you have to bring the you know uh, commercial angles parallel to it, uh, and but don't get confused with the commercial angles. Uh, always remember commercials are just a medium because uh, currency has become a common medium, most common medium. I would not say the common medium. It is the most common medium today to uh, you know do things faster. That's the that's the way you need to look forward when you're looking for investment or anything. So first, you have to ask yourself why you need an investment first of all, and when you get that answer, then rest auto will automatically for for okay, how much you need it basically and how what would be the return calculations how you can return it if somebody is willing to you know give you so you have to be honest that you have to return it at the end of the day so how quickly you can return it back so those these are the fundamental questions you need to ask first and uh, if once you get those answers i'm sure none of us uh, will get stopped by anything and uh, make this uh, startup ecosystem a real vibrant one and uh, with uh, all my you know best wishes to everybody uh, in the team and startup expo uh, definitely i personally looking forward to it uh, and i'll ask, I'll ask my team also uh, to see if this, this journey uh, which uh, the humble beginning that has been made this year in 2020 and uh, and it has been a tough year for everyone so uh, maybe you know we can just uh, start going and uh, under the leadership of Dr. Parthro, so I'm confident uh, we can uh, improve the uh, you know this platform and increase the viability and you know impact of this platform to all the you know uh, stakeholders of a startup ecosystem. Uh, okay, uh, Dr. Parthro. So I think. Uh, I am done uh, with with all the technical hitches <laughs> that have been with us. <laughs> so uh, maybe uh, uh, in the next version we'll have a much 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 upgraded version uh, with uh, a lesser bandwidth and lesser uh, tech, uh, hardware uh, involvement. <laughs> hey, that is quite true. Anyway, uh, it has been a nice uh, presentation or conversation with you. And as you suggested, you know, ki observing even the smallest thing happening in the remotest place of the world is the key factor for any startup you know, to analyze the need and then find a solution to it. So Yes, and I would, I would just, uh, in the last word, I would just, uh, with all my experience, I would just suggest everyone uh, to uh, think of uh, startups which are actually uh, you know, hunger oriented. Hunger oriented, when I say, uh, I mean the physical hunger as well as the mental psych psychological hunger. So, we okay. end of the day, uh, end users are humans. So, we all are uh, empathetically, we can think of when I say. So, any any business proposal or any idea that you work around human hunger, be it physical, psychological, or you know, physiological, so I am quite sure uh, it will automatically sustain. So, try to okay. be on that rather than being on the Anything fancy. That's quite true, quite true. So, Dr. Shakur, I uh, have some uh, few uh, queries if you have still some more time. Okay, okay. so uh, see, basically, what is happening, you know, ki the startups they have the concept and you know, ki just imagine, you know, right from day one, I should start making something and I should start earning the money and so on and so forth. But uh, you are mentoring such a very big uh, government of India uh, initiation like you know, Atal uh, Incubation Initiatives. So what is your advice to the startups with respect to what is the need of the incubations and uh, how they can utilize it uh, effectively and improve their uh, sustainability? Yeah, as I as I said, you see, uh, the incubation centers. There are a lot of incubation centers. Um, if I if I brief you about Atal Incubation Center, uh, it is almost around 68 centers are up and running across the country as of now. 
68 centers up and running. Uh, I can connect any startup with any of them. Um, if, you, if the startup can share the locations with you uh, through you, if it comes to me, um, then I can just evaluate the you know the because every location center has some uh, uh, what you call the trust area. So it's not like that. The other innovation is very much focused and it's trying to you know turn things around rather than trying to get credits. So there are, as I believe, there were old saying there are two kind of people in this world: the one who do the work and one one who try to take the credit. So uh, uh, we we believe in you know in the first, to remain in the first category, not just because you know uh, <laughs> there uh, there are some you know novel thing, but uh, actually there are less competition. Uh, to be very honest, so uh, no, no, see, I'll, point... I'll tell you, I didn't look the opportunity as a business point of view. In fact, uh, this concept was given by you. You came with the proposal of starting up that uh, boot camp for the Indira Gandhi Women Technical University. Okay, and okay. unfortunately, the end moment it got uh, uh, no, actually, it was on our part a bit delayed, so that's why it got uh, delayed. Uh, they went so that, so that gave anyway, me the I have, already, I have already had the commitment and uh, February onward we will we'll be again starting in the next budget it uh, ours will be there it is already no, my question is my question is you know, okay uh, down the line if we you know keep predefine and then say plan it to say maybe in February or March or something like that what is the best way you know, you suggest to, to be, Get in more incubators or maybe in a more incubies for that matter to join such uh, boot camps because the response yeah, it has I, been I, good. My suggestion would be, Kishi sir, we have to work on a daily basis. Uh, then only we can have some good results. If we work and like, treat it as a, just as an event, then it may not have a good result. Uh, it has to be you know real connecting with real people and it has to be the you know the effectiveness kind of uh, on. The usability point of view, every individual must see a benefit in it. Uh, because I personally believe a true friendship uh, stays. Uh, one of my uh, you know, childhood friend has said in the, my childhood, I still remember that. Mm. He said that, see, both of us feel that there is something in it for us. So, and that friend of mine is in US now, uh, but still we are friends. Uh, even 30 years friendship is there with him now. So 30 years is a long time of friendship. So okay. I personally always see that in our friendship, something is there for him to take and for me to take. So that's what I look forward and I suggest everyone to you know look for that kind of friendship where you can you know make sure the others always have some you know something to get from you. And that's me. That can only happen when both of you can be continuous learner rather than you know continuous giver or taker so Correct. that continuous learning is is the key basically so when we continuously learn and we can learn from each other much much better than from outsiders because the trust level also builds up over a period of time and exactly. we know it is, uh, you are not trying to become a you know parasites for each other when friendship what happens you know, people become parasites i have seen many friendship broken because of that because one become honor and other become you know uh, taker so we all try to uh, be contributors. Let us bring things on the table, and uh, about what about the sharing? And as I said, as that can be always worked out, and people can always see it. So collaboration, uh, contribution, these are the major two factors which we need to work on. For every startup, my suggestion is think on these two fronts. And as far as the startups, uh, utter inclusion centers are concerned. There's, as I said, 68 centers are already up and running in India. So, um, uh, with the uh, focus of different trust areas, mm -hmm. like some inclusion centers are very much, uh, uh, you know, domain focused of uh, say green energy. Some in uh, some are on uh, technological based. Some are on agri based. Some are you know uh, healthcare based. So there are a lot of different different uh, sectors are working. So uh, if if the startups you can just make a, make a you know list of startups working on which to pay. Create a database, and then if you can share it with me, then maybe I can guide them and help them, you know, connect with the right individuals, and there you can they can get the you know maximum advantage out of it. And okay. That way, be it be it a co-working space, be it a mentorship space, so a lot of time can be saved for every startup that I see. 
So I think that is the way forward and make it much faster because I am a central, I am connected with the central pool as well uh, in, in Delhi of uh, the Niti Aayog, Innovation Mission. So what I can do is that uh, any startup, uh, if, if you can share with the business plan they have, uh, business pitch. So I can study it and with uh, Dr. Park for your help, uh, we can make a core team uh, in the India startup uh, uh, platform. So where we can continuously evaluate and give them the feedback uh, what they need to you know uh, do and then we can you know connect it to the um, uh, centers so that they can uh, from day one itself they can become viable they can become sustainable because there will be cost attached to every facility that you try to get uh, be it from the AICs or be it from other uh, because there are a lot of uh, private players as well because I know there are uh, like uh, I, you all might be knowing, the 91 Springboard is there, okay, which is again another leading private player which are working in PPP mode with Niti Aayog uh, to create incubation centers all over India. So they, they also have uh, around 30, 40, uh, I think nine, uh, not 30, 40, almost they have crossed now 80, I believe, uh, in India uh, as a uh, incubation spaces. So I have two questions. Yeah, I have two questions over here. First one is, uh, see, for startup India, the definition of start startup is different. So, is so, there any classification or eligibility for the startups to get into atal incubation? Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll answer it in two lines. See, uh, uh, to get it uh, startup recognized, uh, uh, first of all, you, the eligibility is it has uh, it cannot be an extension of an existing business. First of all. So it has to be a new business. And okay. uh, earlier there was some relaxation, but now they made it more rigid. Uh, in the, the legal legal entity has to be either a private limited or a LLP, limited liability partnership, or it has to be a registered partnership. So no 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 proprietorship or no you know uh, uh, what do you call uh, what, no what about single, uh, what about so single director what single director company? Ha, single single OPC. One, one, yeah, OPC. That we call OPC. OPC. Uh, okay. So that so it OPC has to be a also. registered entity. It has to be a registered right. entity. And registered in a sense, yeah, either, as I said, there are three categories. Either it has to be a, a registered partnership firm, or it has to be a LLP, limited liability partnership, or it has to be a private limited. OPC comes under private limited also. So, so legal okay. entity should be there, okay. Uh, yes, yes, and legal entity is also defined. These are the three only type of entities that are eligible. So don't get confused if anybody is like. So first thing first. So I would not suggest anyone to spend money in registering yourself as a company just to get a recognition of a startup. Because what happens is that the accounting charges and GST and all those legal language starts immediately. So <laughs> when you're not able to bring anything, you are bound to pay the accounting charge. Unnecessary. Correct. So my suggestion would be to go phase-wise manner, step by step. So uh, uh, I'll definitely connect with uh, you, Dr. Patho, to you know uh, make this a real platform where, on a daily basis, uh, startup enthusiasts can connect with us, and where we can you know help them uh, going step by step, and not without investing uh, money from the day one. Because that, that bootcamp, when you say the bootstrapping, the bootstrapping concept is very simple. Uh, the initial funding, what you need, uh, um, that is what uh, we try to understand in the bootcamp. Okay. What is the initial level of funding? That includes these kind of costing. What will be the you know, right. legal charge to create an entity? What will be the advocate fees? What will be the registration charges? So where from this money will come? And what will be the recurring expenses for maintaining the uh, records? Forget about anything else. Uh, so all these things need to be considered from day one. So I would not suggest to you know uh, immediately create an entities. Uh, uh, and many people, many of my students earlier used to ask me, "Sir, shall we make it a private limited and all?" I, I always suggested them, "Ki boss, uh, for first of all, you create it as just as a uh, partnership, registered partnership firm, not even LLP." Because registered partnership firm gives you the freedom, flexibility, and ownership. It gives you everything. And accounting charges are almost negligible. It can be accrued on an annual basis as well. You need not to maintain a book of accounts on a monthly basis because your initial days will be 
completely on the uh, ideation and step by step way so business modeling and all those things prototyping phasing and real interaction and uh, you know what you call uh, validation stage so you have to go through all those stages so you know, the business might occur uh, maybe it might take whole year the first year might go in the whole year in all these stages so uh, you get the legal entity you get the boot camp the boot strapping that money can come from your family friends your own savings so uh, maybe some of the mentors or whoever are attached to it they can also help you out so that is how you can initial uh, you know uh, funding wise you can think of funding can be and, right, okay. right so that is how so, uh, and then once the as as the idea gradually grows up so automatically you will auto because already you are part of a you know uh, connected platform so you and you are under the mentoring so automatically as it grows so you know, we can that's why i am saying you we can make this platform a real platform for every individual to connect with who are willing to become a startup so we can give the you know initial uh, genuine advices uh, which which can be a very very negligible cost but compared to the you know cost they might have to you know incur when they go outside in the market so that way we can you know work out okay, case to case basis even some cases we can give absolutely free advice as well. if suppose a rural person or a person in anywhere or from a family background who may not be having any money but have a brilliant idea and brilliant attitude and uh, ready to give his uh, you know 100% uh, you know, skills and hard out and the labor that is needed so in those certain exceptional cases we can even extend our services for them at the initial stage so these are the formula as i said if we cannot be rigid on the part but let us let the authenticity of the platform go uh, to the, go out in the market and let the enthusiast uh, feel the difference you what going on uh, on other front and what's uh, what is the difference what startup the real startup is so trying to create it Dr. Shakur, you are talking about the necessity of bootstrapping. I, out of academic yes. interest, I just want to understand: is there any opportunity that's out of this 25 odd atal uh, incubation centers available across India? Is there any opportunity that we can conduct some boot camp for them and then uh, do some activity? Uh, yeah, I think I think we can actually. Uh, uh, atal incubation centers uh, themselves uh, do a lot of boot camps and all those things. so um, they can also be a part and we can collaborate as i said if once we have the you know uh, clear goal ki what are the first ideas what kind of startup enthusiasts are approaching us to be a part of the boot camps so then i can you know talk to that particular trust area uh, inclusion center which is working on that particular domain so that makes okay. more sense nay hey, and uh, other opportunity other opportunity can be you know this type of expos we can uh-huh. conduct for all the incubation uh, centers available with all the startups with yeah, those yeah, incubation yeah, yeah. centers we can scale it up to any level we can scale it up to any level that's not a so, but as i uh, said if we have to first uh, make this is this platform um, as a the valid it has to go through a validation stage first because i personally see it as a startup one and the entire platform as a startup so this startup also need to you know go through the stages that we are suggesting through this platform to all the startup entities. I understand. I understand, Dr. Okay. Shakur. We have some more visitors waiting here. Uh, one okay. Amol is there, and uh, one more Masood Naik. So I am going to take them on. Maybe if okay. they have any questions, they, you can address them. Please, sure. Uh, Amol and Masood, I am onboarding them, but you need to unmute your mic and camera. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Hi, uh, this is Masood. Uh, very good afternoon. I have basically you need to just camera. You need to unmute your camera as well, sir. I have just joined in, so I am still trying to understand and get the thread of, you know, what's going on before I have any question. Okay, so how did you get the link? Uh, I am a part of Atal uh, Innovation Innovation Centers. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so you might be knowing Dr. Shakur in that case, is that okay? I mean, uh, you know, we have heard of, uh, but there has not been an uh, occasion of, you know, having any conversations and all because there is a huge community that way. Uh, See, this is basically uh, 
uh, an initiative to support the uh, startups okay so we have uh, conceived a concept called this virtual expo that uh, virtual expo is going on maybe i can give my coordinates and then we can connect and then uh, you can have a better look at it okay so uh, how did you get the link uh, who shared you the link maybe this has come in our network of uh, aim okay 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 great great so uh, yeah i actually so, shared it i shared it in the network portal so okay uh, what about amol who is amol can you unmute your mic and uh, camera yeah i think amol dr dr amol gokhale is there Uh, he is from uh, uh, Mumbai actually. So he is again uh, the founder of a startup company called Strategic Mind. So so he basically uh, help people uh, from the investment point as well as uh, you know uh, make them on the growth path as well uh, and help them uh, business development network wise and everything. So okay, so doctor. Uh, Dr. Shakur, if you would uh, yeah, Dr. Bato, take some. So they can come in and have a look at our expo. If if you can share our uh, expo link over there, no. then maybe we can connect and find out if something can be done in sync our intention is to support the startups and give them a platform to showcase their capabilities and this initiative i have taken up to conduct an online uh, boot camp also we have collected brains like uh, dr shakur and of course shabaz khan is there he is uh, from uh, bank of new york city so he has taken much pain to join us and uh, we have this is the second day for the boot camp and four more days are to go 23rd and 24th we have got a pitch day if you feel that like okay some of the startups who are capable of pitching their concept over here i can provide some time slot and give their presentation we have got a very small uh, cash award uh, kept for this which is to be evaluated by uh, our team members evaluation points are there So some fifteen thousand, ten thousand, and five thousand cash award also we have announced over there. So maybe you can tell Masood sir, कैसे नायक सब कैसे करना है आप बता दीजिए. Or maybe if uh, Mr. Amal Gokhale, if you want to join, I can uh, do so. But he has to unmute his camera and mic. We cannot uh, allow anybody anonymous. That is the. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you shared me the link, uh, which uh, which was you didn't mention it, okay, whether it is for the uh, you know panel or no, no, it's okay, the, it's okay because but, I shared it to you as a panelist. I wanted you to join over that. Nevertheless, it is good that okay. now at least uh, uh, we had the opportunity to meet Mr. Masood, and that is something. Who knows how things will? Yeah, yeah, definitely, you're from, definitely. Uh, uh, You are from which city? Yeah, I am from Pune. Come again? Pune, Pune. Pune only. Uh, Pune. Yeah. I am. I am a Pune only. Pune. 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 Please come in and just yeah. have a look at it. Sure, some... because I have, I am in this ecosystem of startups. Uh, even for uh, Niti also, where I see the presentations and you know whether they qualify uh, for any uh, seed funding or otherwise. And besides that, mentoring these startups in where they are lacking, be it from IP, be it scalability, uh, be it the financial due diligence, whether they have done. Because many times. people just have an idea and uh, some techy have come together and make a poc and they don't know anything so from a niti uh, i am point of view you know we have such uh, incubation centers all over india where we do exchange 
uh, our views and try to see who is where, who is doing what. Uh, so, uh, so uh, that case, uh, if we get connected, we can see some of the potential startups uh, who can be channelized uh, through your uh, platform, uh, be it for uh, seed funding, be it for otherwise. Uh, so, so we can we can work together. Hey, definitely, this platform is basically to showcase our capabilities and expo. I'll uh, share you the link. Definitely, you can have a look at it and then like uh, find out how people can showcase it. No, you are doing the funding and other things, and I am giving the platform for them to connect internationally. I am very happy to announce you know, like uh, my 18th was the first day. We had about uh, 80 odd visitors coming from Malaysia and uh, Myanmar. Okay. So people all mm -hmm. across the globe had come. I'll share you the analysis and data also. Maybe Dr. Shakur can share it with you. So I'm very, very yeah, proud I, I, to I, I was suggesting to Dr. Parth in the morning also. Once this expo is over, because this is the first time uh, that we have launched it. And I treat it as a uh, startup of its own. Right. Sir, that's so, up to you. Uh, there is absolutely. Of <laughs> course. So now, yeah. now, now we'll have a you know showreel kind of thing of the entire event of this four five days, and then maybe we can you know uh, pitch it to the central committee that we have uh, uh, in Niti Aayog for all the mentors connected there. So where Mr. Masood is also there, part I know. So there I'll share and I'll try to explore you know how we can uh, make it faster. Uh, because what is happening is that it, all the AICs are working in a you know uh, disintegrated manner. So um, so that is where I see this platform as a big opportunity, whether virtual Quite you true. know expo kind of thing that we are doing. So that will uh, we can bring in all the AICs together in a single platform. Say, uh, to Who is already in Pune? So I would request him to you know be a part of this venture from now itself. And you know the. the no, no, I I I. I take this opportunity ah. to extend one more invitation on uh, 23rd and 24th, we are the pitch day. Maybe uh, uh, Masur Sahib can come in as an evaluator and then evaluate them and also fee. That day what I am planning is all these uh, participants will come on a single share screen and they can interact with the uh, core committee. So evaluation uh, can be done over there. So that top of it, I'll share you the link. Uh, please do join us. Yeah, please. And, yeah, uh, so I'll, I'll just you know share it with uh, uh, Mr. Nayak, so he can be a part of that. Uh, because twenty third, I believe it's on Tuesday or Wednesday. So uh, okay, I will not make myself available on that day. Uh, so, but anyway, so Mr. Nayak is there. I'm I'm confident. See, I know he, each of us in the core team are being filtered by Niti so well. That uh, without <laughs> even knowing how we can trust on each other fully. Okay. Excellent. So, excellent. Uh, uh, no, yeah, had I known this, no, no, Dr. Shakur, had I known this earlier, no, no, had I known this earlier, I would have invited all these uh, 25 hotel uh, incubation centers. Yeah, the there are 100 mentors. people actually, Niti Ayag has filtered all over India, and we all are among them only. Definitely. And they have a definitely. single group. It's an excellent, been, you know, created by excellent, year. excellent, excellent. So, if you would allow me, you know, Shabazz is there ready with his presentation. So, I request you to be there backstage and then watch his presentation and maybe put forth your views and queries if anything is there. If your time permits, Shabazz, are you uh, ready? Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll not give a commitment, but Mr. Nayak, I'll request Mr. Nayak here itself in front of everyone because <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I, I, I have some deliveries. Let him, let him be, you know. <laughs> I have deliveries. I have some project deliveries working, uh, you know, on them. But nevertheless, I mean, any time which permits, I will love. But if we organize it, you know, we have some time uh, in hand. I'm sure uh, it can be organized much better. We can look at some VCs also coming forward. Uh, true, projects true. can be evaluated not from an inputs point of view, but really uh, a proper matchmaking if that can be facilitated to anyone who wants to showcase the product. And uh, the uh, not only the startups, but someone who is a potential uh, customer, if that can also be integrated, we can work towards that so it becomes a robust offering and it benefits basically all the stakeholders. No, I, Especially I, from 
I especially to the uh, I have one word Bharat. Uh, you know, especially these times, everyone is looking left right, and if we are able to offer a one-stop uh, solution, uh, both the aspiring uh, to get into the business and those startups which are little established and they want to offer the services, all that can be can be offered and can be seen together. Just a thought, basically. No, no, it is uh, already in, exactly it is right already in existence. Doctor Partho, that like it has yeah. to be a collaboration. Stop reinventing the wheels. The in, uh, wheels which are already invented. No, no. Let's uh, you know connect with them. Yeah, that's what. What I request is both of you please stay for a little while till such a time uh, uh, Shabazz finishes the presentation. In the meantime, okay. I'll share I'll share my event right now uh, live with you. And what you are discussing over here, I'll show it to you in my auditorium over there. That I'll take oh, the opportunity. So I request you to stay online for at least a while. So can you st start, uh, Shabazz, please? Yes. Uh, yeah, just give me a moment. I'll share my screen. I, I hope everybody is able to see my screen. Not able to see yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Okay. Have you started the screen? Is everybody able to see the screen? Yes, I am able to see. Don't know about others. Okay. Uh, okay, I think so. Then I'll assume that uh, if you're able to see, others might also be in a position to see. Yes, yes, it is visible. No more okay. visible. Yeah, so we'll just quickly uh, go with the presentation. Uh, so the topic that, uh, that that I was given with this was it this finding solution and you know how to think out of the box. And uh, Dr. Abdul he uh, shared some uh, valuable insights on. What, uh, what what the government is doing, what what initiatives they're taking, and you know how they could be a sort of accelerator for, for people like us who are doing some amazing work. Uh, but uh, in in the first place itself, uh, Doctor Abdul, uh, do you mind if you can just uh, mute your mic? I'm getting a lot of uh, background noise. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think uh, it, it's it's better now. Thank you so much. Uh, so. So everyone, uh, like like in the ecosystem player, you, uh, you guys are sort of enablers for people like us who are uh, solution builders or who are more sort of uh, developers or who are more sort of uh, problem solvers. Uh, so getting started with the topic, uh, you know, uh, as part of solutions finding, uh, what is important is we need to have uh, insights about the the customers and uh, uh, and part of this. Building insights is uh, the the customer discovery process, which we call as uh, uh, lean startup uh, or uh, the, the customer development process, essentially. Uh, in which what we sort of do is uh, find the problem and then uh, go through a, a build, measure, and validate uh, loop. And I think similar is happening uh, with the case of uh, the the platform today, uh, wherein uh, uh, which uh, Dr. Partho has built, and you know we are. Uh, validating it uh, but uh, in in this presentation i'll uh, quickly uh, walk you through uh, you know how how we how we can see towards problem and uh, a same problem how we can uh, how we can see it from essentially from a from a different perspective uh, and then we'll also quickly uh, see uh, you know some on some ways to uh, develop prototypes uh, and uh, what what rapid the prototyping tools can be used both in the in the software uh, environment and both in the hardware environment. Uh, 
uh, as so as part as scope of this presentation then is concerned and you know in the interest of time we'll uh, strictly talk about uh, technology based and technology uh, led led innovations uh so uh we, we've made uh, this uh, presentation we thought uh, we'll we'll make it interactive uh, uh, and uh, uh, since the the uh, target audience is uh, budding entrepreneurs and students we we want uh, it it to be a, a, a two way dialogue uh, and uh, feel free to stop uh, and uh, ask questions if if you have uh, any questions and uh, definitely we are uh, here to learn something new uh, so let, let us start with the uh, uh, with the customer uh, needs and the value discovery i mean uh, how do you sort of identify the problem in the first place and uh, what what value can you deliver and how can you monetize the uh, how can you convert that value in the monetary terms yeah Uh, and uh, that is essentially what entrepreneurship is all about uh, but over here let us try to understand it with a real life uh, scenario so uh, partha if you could just unmute and uh, be a volunteer for this session uh, that that'll be great uh, because i have some questions and i'll need uh, someone over here Partha, are you there? Hello. Yeah, I am there. I am hearing you. I am doing yeah. some activity at the back end, but okay. still I am watching you. Tell me. Hmm. Okay, okay. So, okay. So, uh, I, I, I just wanted some uh, volunteer, some help. So, I think. Uh, it'll be great if you can just facilitate and answer some questions definitely uh, definitely section. yeah so uh, so we prepared as i was saying we prepared this uh, presentation for uh, aspiring entrepreneurs and students and uh, people who graduate people who uh, complete uh, their graduation they aspire for uh, post post graduation and often they uh, go to uh, either us or uk or countries in the west to uh do their masters and uh, people have to uh, take in uh, flight from uh, either mumbai or delhi right so so let's let's assume that uh, this is a case apartho and you are a student and you want to you have just completed your graduation and you want to uh, go to a, a world class in non university in the us for for your masters and you have a, a flight from the uh, uh, from the airport in the mumbai Uh, okay. and uh, at the same time uh, let's uh, so i'll play the role, i'll do a role play of the uh, your friend who was just completed uh, and uh, is a civil service uh, civil services aspirant and wants to go to delhi uh, and uh, he has a train he is taking a rajdhani express uh, okay. but but both both people they are traveling by the same cab they are taking a pool cab from from pune station and they are they are on the way to to mumbai yeah so okay. so what happens is we we are going from the expressway watching the beautiful scenery and uh, suddenly uh, there is a landslide okay now now we are stuck uh, okay now now partha uh, probably flight a uh, flight from uh, mumbai to new york uh, would uh, roughly cost around Uh, 50k. Let's let's assume that as a ballpark figure, and uh, yeah. uh, a train, a Rajdhani Express, uh, a three tier would somewhere cost around uh, 2500 to 3000. Yeah, is that a okay. fair number? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we are we are stuck. Uh, now you you have to catch your flight, and it's just uh, it's just 10 hours for you to uh, start your flight, and I'm sitting on there. Uh, and i have to catch my train in a, let's say a, a, about same time right so so this is the 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 problem is both of us have to reach the destination but but there is the the obstacle does this sound like a entrepreneurship problem i mean uh, if if someone could solve us if someone could help us to reach uh, reach mumbai in time uh, definitely uh, we would be willing to pay some money exactly would you be willing to pay pay money of course you need to right yeah. Yeah, yeah now 
uh, now here comes the solution. Here is our uh, uh, the uh, the person I uh, you know I, I like the most from the from the business community, and he's been in the news. Our Mota Bhai, Mukesh Bhai. Mukesh Bhai. Been, yeah, he's been. Uh, uh getting in lot, lot of investment the stock price of reliance is buzzing uh, and uh, he says wow this is a wonderful opportunity and i mean let's let's cash on it and uh, let's do one thing that let us start a helicopter service on geo right just like uh, mm -hmm. you can you can book a uber uh, let's offer a helicopter uh, on demand wherein you could just uh at the touch of a button book book a helicopter right sure sure so what happens is now we we'll do value benefit analysis over here and this is where uh, the the customer development and the customer discovery process come in uh, comes in the mind so uh, partha your your flight ticket is around uh, 50000 and uh, my train ticket is around uh, 2500 so going back to the uh, going back to motabai motabai says that uh, okay partha uh, give me uh, 10000 rupees and uh, i'll i'll send a helicopter for you and you will reach the mumbai airport in another uh, 30 minutes uh, and uh, you know probably you'll catch the flight you'll uh, reach new york and you know your your schedule is on time would would you okay. agree to that of course, I'll agree. Hmm. Right. So, uh, and now the the another question, the the flip flip side of this is, uh, if if Motabai comes to me and he says that, uh, hey Shabazz, I'll take you to Mumbai, and you know, uh, there's another this there's another uh, helicopter, and it's it's for ten thousand. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Would would I would would I agree? maybe not maybe not maybe not okay because yeah okay. Uh, uh, if if you could just quickly share the reason why why i might not pay 10000 for the same service wherein both see this is what we were talking about in terms of customer development and customer discovery the problem remains the same the solution remains the same the approach remains the same the service offered remains the same but two different people uh, one is uh, one is in a position to pay the money and one is not in a position to pay the money correct right so uh, here what what my perspective would be that uh, okay i mean uh, i'm just losing uh, 2500 and my work is uh, not of that uh, great priority maybe it's okay if i get delayed maybe i'll go after 10 or 15 days i just want to go and inquire for my upsc coaching classes uh, uh at max what i'll lose is i'll lose uh, you know, 25000 right so my my downside risk is very low but at the same time your downside risk is is is, is quite high right quite high quite high uh, now uh, so so essentially this is where uh, the product market fit uh, sort of approach comes in wherein you have a roadblock uh, then the the solution is the customer wants to reach the destination and uh, uh, the facilitator is the uh, helicopter uh, now yeah. let us uh, now let us sort of uh, turn the wheels a little bit uh, uh, let, let us assume that uh, there are uh, two other customers and a helicopter has four seats uh, one helicopter along with the pilot uh, uh, pilot and the co-pilot can uh, accommodate four more seats uh, and uh, again our uh, so-called motabai he says uh, now instead of all of you pay uh, each of you paying ten thousand for a for a single helicopter let's do a ride share and let let each of you pay uh, two thousand five hundred uh, per seat right so partha now what what would be your call would you be everybody would you, everybody would join no doubt everybody would join right and you you'll be more than happy and you'll also happy. Re happy. refer your friends right that uh, correct, correct. Uh, that uh, at the time of distress motabai came and saved and at a substantially cheaper cost got us to the destination 
exactly what is happening with uh, jio today jio uh, was offering uh, plans uh, in the in the range of uh, uh, 399 for 84 days and uh, you know then they realized that uh, not everybody in india would uh, uh, would require uh, you know uh, 4g services all all around the month or all around the 10 year and what they did is they sort of uh, reduced it to offer a a basic calling plus a 6 gb pack in in the price of 149 right 140. so yeah so so this is this is what happened and this is how uh, things have to be uh, tailored when we sort of uh, build the first interaction with customer so uh, as as what i started with is value uh, is some total uh, of the solution that is you are providing that is expressed in monetary terms yeah Mm-hmm. so essentially what what we have to uh, see over here is or what what entrepreneurs have to see is uh, what problem are they solving what value are they providing and how the value is perceived by the customer right and uh, what what the price the customer uh, is 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 willing to pay right so the, so these are the uh, I, i think i have uh, some some the uh, majority of points over here uh, Uh, but but other than that anything uh, else uh, did, uh, did do you have anything else in mind partha that we sort of see i from? have uh, another scenario also so you mm-hmm. said that like yeah, as a business decision i am talking about you said 10k mm-hmm. okay mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. let's say even if we had told that no it is 2.5k but mm-hmm. uh, i need a minimum booking of say four tickets you just mm-hmm. view the other way okay and mm-hmm. two people are stranded and now the question is one person can afford 2.5 the other person can afford rest of the 7.5 mm-hmm. okay a shrewd businessman would definitely grab it and tell the other guy come on here i'll take you for a free ride you're getting the point okay fantastic so fantastic. Uh, that is the best analysis of the scenario and take a call upon that fantastic fantastic excellent point uh okay any anything else that that comes to your mind uh, i think we have covered most of the part no that's it the, the utility of the opportunity you know ki people have even started when the floods were there na ki i understand in chennai and elsewhere this uh, ola started even boating services call and boat exactly. you get the point okay so exactly. uh, a real startup should always uh, take advantage of the situation and come out with out of the box solution and uh, start something and uh, are you through with this your presentation or anything it's left no i i think uh, we we now we have completed the uh, customer development part customer development and discovery i mean how do you i sort okay. of identify the problem uh, and uh, see the value and then convert that value into monetary terms now is about uh, the the product development part so uh, so expectation versus reality is what i want to talk about and uh, you know we never expected 2020 we all of us had travel plans and uh, you know a lot, lot of other things planned but uh, <laughs> but the time correct like life is uh, uncertain and life is a test as they say uh, similar is similar is what what happens with product development so second part of the uh, the topic uh, that was uh, that that we had shared with our audience was uh, Pro, i mean how do we sort of uh, do product development and how do we iterate through ideas and uh, uh, just uh, discussion and you know build uh, viable business models out of it uh, so generally in the uh, software and hardware development scenario as well we we, we have two sort of approaches one is waterfall approach and there is agile approach so waterfall is uh, just a straight forward approach wherein you you clearly have the requirements and uh you just executed so uh, a, a classic example would be a builder who has just uh, a real estate builder who's just given a plan and who executes upon it but uh, on the other hand an agile might uh, involve a lot of uh, going back and forth and uh, a widely used practice with the startups and established uh, ent- enterprises uh so uh, generally what what happens is I, as i was saying that uh, uh I, I, you know the in terms of uh, these solution this uh, the expectation is something different and uh, what what is delivered is is something different so 
uh, in the in the screen you can see the uh, the the customer has explained that uh, he or she wants a swing uh, and uh, the the project leader understood it in some way so this is like a typical phase of uh, how a, a product goes from uh, how, how a product or solution goes from right from the ideation phase to to what uh, what the customer wants uh, and we'll just quickly uh, over around and skim through the presentation so this is where the uh, lean lean startup approach comes in and we have the build measure learn loop wherein what we do is we we build some small uh, prototype or an mvp and then uh, you know present it to some customers and then uh, get get some learnings so uh, as part of this process uh, is very important that you sort of uh, fail fast and fail early and learn from these experiences so in this uh, sort of scenario there are some uh, rapid prototyping and product development techniques that are uh, uh, that are used very widely in the industry so for if you consider the uh, ui ux the, uh, this is a uh, uh, this is an era of mobile and uh, native apps yeah uh, so wire framing uh, frugal prototyping is very famous out there and uh, tools like figma uh, and other website builders are very popular uh, there are other tools like adobe xd uh, wherein what you can do is without any coding skills without even single coding skills you can make a prototype you can uh, so so if, uh, any enthusiast uh, if, if someone has an uh, idea and uh, if if they want to sort of validate what what i would suggest is uh, you know uh, catch hold a friend or someone who's just good good at sketching and uh, just make a sketch out of uh, what what how your app or how a ui ux would look transform or translate that ui ux into a prototype using these uh, no coding required apps maybe figma or adobe xd or there are tons of available out there on the uh, g2 platform and convert th them into prototypes and then uh, go to your prospects and go to your customers uh, and then uh, see see uh, do they see value and uh, are they willing to pay for it so this takes back uh, takes us back to the helicopter case wherein for the same use case uh, partha was ready to pay the money and i was not able, i i was not uh, interested to pay the money at a price point and then we sort of uh, iterated it and you know uh, modified it brought it down to uh, 2.5k so similar exercise can be very rapidly done with uh, rapid prototyping tools and uh, i think this is what even uh, dr abdul in his uh, presentation talked about that uh, you don't you don't need a lot of money to build prototypes or you don't need a lot of money to just uh, validate right and uh, which which i completely agree with uh, and uh, startups and entrepreneurs can leverage these these sort these sorts of uh, uh, rapid prototyping tools uh, to quickly test their ideas to see what works and if it doesn't work i mean uh, there's always room for improvement either pivot or uh, either look for something else uh then uh, there uh, these days there are uh, for, for hardware startups uh, there are 3d printing technologies available within no time you can just uh, build a 3d model of a of a product to see how it will uh, look in real time uh, and uh, then uh, show it to your prospective customers uh, and at the same time there are a lot of uh, iot development kits that are available uh, which are just sort of plug and play you just have to uh, uh you just have to uh, install the drivers and uh, uh, just plug in into your system the samples uh, code snippets are available and uh, there you go uh, so the point that i'm trying to make over here is the uh, as i uh, as i was saying in the beginning itself that uh, building solutions is uh, not a challenge these days i mean uh, uh, with the with the advent of uh, uh, technology and with the advent of uh, these uh, uh these platforms it has become very easy but finding the right problem finding the right customer and uh, uh seeing that you get the right value so that that is more sort of uh, important uh, in uh, any uh, in in any product uh, development process so uh, i think uh, with this we are uh, uh, 
we are good and in the interest of time i uh, i think we we can stop over here definitely with uh, for uh, lean product development and uh, you know build fa fail fast fail early there's there's tons and tons we can discuss uh, but i think we can we can park uh, park that for the other day uh, and uh, just to uh, give some uh, uh, some sort of background this is what we do on a day to day basis so uh, when we talk about roi on uh, innovation spends uh every every company has a budget to be spent on uh, innovation and uh, uh these companies are not spending it in a in a channelized way and then there is where we we come in and we sort of help i was reading this uh, idc report yesterday uh which said that uh, roughly around 1.2 trillion dollars was spent on innovation in uh, 2019 and uh, out of that only 25% was channelized in a proper manner by companies like facebook amazon netflix google black and decker i mean these companies who have innovation in their dna rest companies they are they have a high time uh, struggling with their innovation activities because uh innovation is not in their core dna they they do something else either uh, deliver a product or either a service and uh, they see innovation as a sideline activity uh so uh, so so in the area of innovation we we still have lot to do and and that's why we see these big giants uh, because they don't have the uh, skills capabilities talents uh they sort of uh, acquire small companies uh, which uh, which sort of fit fit in their agenda so uh, this is my key advice to budding entrepreneurs to uh, to startups and people who are uh, thinking of building something new that uh, uh, do thorough market research and uh, especially for saas based companies uh, try and identify uh, what 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 a large enterprise is uh, doing and what uh, where they are struggling with right and if you could uh, uh, build some value out of it uh, Mm, and uh, that would be great so uh, so i always say this uh, that you know look look at it as a long term game i mean uh, uh, people uh, who enter a startup and entrepreneurship world they want to get rich quick overnight uh, uh, but but that's not the uh, hard reality and you have to look at from a from a long term perspective uh, and uh, if 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 people can uh, you know sort of uh, take these uh, small uh, snippets and small sort of advice and uh, put uh, put these things in place uh, i don't see a reason why uh, why india cannot be the uh, next uh, tech hub i mean we we already are but uh, i mean uh, uh, i don't see a reason why we cannot be on, on the number 1 or uh, Uh, at a position where no one comes and competes to competes with us excellent excellent it's a good thinking basically shabak thank you so, so much i request uh, dr shakur and of course naik sahab to come so that i can share my screen and show what exactly we have tried to do with this uh, startup expo So, are you there, sir? Yeah, I am very much here. Good, uh, nice insights by Shabas. Keep it up. Uh, I was meanwhile you. looking at your uh, LinkedIn profile. I have just sent you the <laughs> request. <in Thailand. laughs> glad, glad to know you are from Pune and uh, doing some wonderful work. Very good, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, uh, yes, sir. Let me get onto my business. So this is our exposed uh, landing page. Once you somebody comes and logs in, so yeah, we have provided an exhibition hall, and of course the auditorium. And uh, as I told, 23rd and 24th we have got this pitch day. For that we have kept a small mini conference room for one-to-one -one environment. And also suppose uh, any startup finds a venture capitalist or any buyer, we are arranging one-to-one -one, uh, meeting for them also. Okay, so of course for these two rooms the time has not come, and let me just take you into the 
एग्जीबिशन हॉल स्ट्रेट अवे सी नॉर्मली व्हाट हैपेंस इन द केस ऑफ दिस वर्चुअल एक्सपोज दे प्रोवाइड यू अ थंबनेल रू व्यू एंड देन शो ऑल द स्टॉल्स ओवर देयर व्हिच आर डिस्प्लेड सो दैट पीपल कैन एक्सेस इट इजीली but here what we thought to like we wanted people to visit all these stalls without missing anything so we have missed the thumb roll i mean thumbnail view and we have shown the independent stalls over that so they need to scroll down and see and any stall they are in or what natural they will be standing at each and every stall and having a look at it and the end of the day what happens is just go there and click it so each and every stall has got uh, it's on view so over there so here the products are displayed and they have got we have got a tv also to showcase their avs or whatever it is and the document stand is there because this is uh, an incubation center and uh, they also have an ecosystem uh, which support the startups so this is about the avs and of course uh, coming back to the document stand the product catalogs or whatever it is it is displayed so you can download it also have a look at it later and after that you know ki you have these posters what all the displayed over there the poster can be zoomed and viewed and this is their website link and of course their business card and this is one feature which enable them to communicate instantly you can directly send a, uh, if you are uh, logging from uh, your mobile or whatever it is whatsapp communication can be had over there of course i have not installed the whatsapp over there so i cannot show it that is about the stalls over there we have got about some 35 entrepreneur displayed their various stalls even there are some uh, student entrepreneurs who have taken much pains to participate they of course formed groups what we did is for student entrepreneurs we gave them at a rate of 500 rupees to exhibit the stall and we had some sponsors from the sponsors we took about 6000 rupees for the stalls and other benefits so that is about the uh, expo hall basically and of course the auditorium is there the auditorium it has got the day to day conference schedule over there so today's schedule of course dr shakur's name is predominantly there you can have a look at it okay uh, that is one part of it and what happens at the auditorium <coughs> this is what i showed you about 2 minutes back so the entire conference or the thing is it will develop tunnel so i for that time just closing it 
I think the concept is clear, basically. Otherwise, it will develop the tunneling within the things. Here we have the sponsors who are all there. The sponsors are again. So the Gopio is uh, one of our sponsors. It, it is a general organization of people of Indian origin. They are based at 110 countries across the globe. And this uh, Malaysian diaspora, they sponsored us. They paid us about 50,000 rupees to conduct this event. So that is about this. And of course, the other sponsors are there. We have a help desk. Once you click it again, okay, it will open up the WhatsApp. Our uh, backend team will there. And about the expo, what are all the details? We have got a TV over there. Hi, welcome to IS360 Expo. This virtual event will be held from the 18th of December to the 24th of December 2020. IS360 brings such innovative ideas and give them an international platform to showcase their talent and seek means to convert it into a potential business model. Malaysian diaspora GoPio will host a series of lectures by eminent personalities or industrialists from countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Australia, Sri Lanka, and many more. Business communities across the globe are targeted to visit the expo through various startup ecosystems and international forums, social media, etc. On average, 3,000 business visitors are expected every day. The best three startup concepts will be awarded cash awards. First prize 15,000 rupees, second prize 10,000 rupees, third prize 5,000 rupees. Overview of various stores. Startup stall. Free startup training, investor interfaces, business model validation, free job postings, and mentor support. Student entrepreneur stall. Business model validation, proof of concept support, and mentor support. Researcher stall. Research validation and research publication. Growth startup stall. Free job postings, review of business plans, investor interfaces, and business connects. Sponsor startup stall. Press release in 250 global news links, pitch interviews recorded, and business connects. Sponsor company stall. Press release in 250 global news links, pitch interviews recorded, comprehensive orientation on how to set up an accelerator program within the company. Sponsor incubator stalls. Promotion of incubation startups and press coverage for it. So that is the overview of uh, our platform. I think uh, we have tried to give the best whatever is available. And uh, the one difference between the other uh, webinars or platforms like Zoom or whatever it is, it has got a very limited interactivity. I can show it to you practically on 23rd, where all these uh, startups will be giving their uh, pitch, day, pitch day presentation. All these startups will come on one single uh, screen. And of course, the mentors or the evaluators can ask them questions and evaluate it. There again, they will be giving their presentation along with their introduction and other things. So this is the concept. And we have different flavors of virtual platform. And January 10th, we are doing one uh, virtual flea market. And that is from Chennai for South India. About 40 districts. Uh, uh, joined together. It is a self-help group uh, organized a uh, close friend of uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam. So he is having about 10,000 aspirants, followers with him. So along with them, we have made a commitment and we are trying to bring in uh, products of uh, Deep South, you know, all these uh, women entrepreneurs, destitutes, or small-time entrepreneurs, agricultural products. So these things we are uh, setting up an expo. 
I'll definitely extend my invitation to you so you can come and join. And I'm uh, happy to inform that there is one uh, regional uh, television channel, private channel, by uh, name Kudia Talaimare, that means new generation. So they are sponsoring the entire event. So we'll be charging a very nominal amount, say 100 rupees or 200 rupees, just for the sake of commitment of the participants to showcase their uh, mm. things over here. So that is about our initiative. And of course, it is solely promoted by me and my team. We have got about five, six people sitting across the globe, so not based at Pune. In Pune only, I have got one person who is helping me to develop some of this 3D components and other things. Just as people, somebody is there in Chennai, somebody is there in Madurai, and two guys are there from Delhi. So that's about ourselves. It is totally funded by me. There is no venture capitalist, no seed funding, nothing. <coughs> so that's about the event. I am open. You see, without any commitment, we can conduct one more expo similar to this. If uh, at all incubation centers across the country are willing to showcase the uh, their startups as an expo. And I would definitely request people like uh, Dr. Shakur and Naik Saab to get some sponsors for that. We will not charge the expo, uh, startups, but we definitely require some funding by means of uh, sponsors or something like that. I hope the concept is uh, quite clear and loud. Any improvisation no, just... can always be done. It can always be done. And we no, have some think... to do. Yeah. It is a fantastic uh, idea in terms of, uh, you know, having a virtual feel of a conference bringing ecosystem together in whatever way part of it is willing to come and showcasing it. Uh, certainly, I will keep in touch. We will try to explore through Niti and otherwise also. We have a lot of uh, schools also which are uh, tinkering labs. Uh, they are also an entire student community is very keen uh, to showcase uh, certain aspects of it. Unfortunate part is this whole year now uh, we haven't met students face to face and very rare uh, in the incubation centers where I have been, but very less I avoid because of uh, the infections and because of all this, uh, you know, stuff. Otherwise, uh, uh, you know, they, 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 one can leverage a lot uh, in terms of offering uh, what you are doing, bringing everyone together, stakeholders, bringing other people together. Uh, so we can we can look uh, we can definitely support you uh, with uh, uh, you know sponsorship and otherwise also and besides also we'll just see that what else can be done uh, through your platform. Quite true, quite true. Uh, yeah. Just for the sake of a potential. Time, last month, November sixth, seventh, eighth, I conducted a virtual swayamvar, the same flavor in a different format. We connected about 157 uh, brides and grooms across the globe. So they came online and out of which 13 people they met one to one. Because the traditional Brahmin community from uh, South India, you know, they have this uh, horoscope matching and all these things. So we did it for about uh, 50 odd people. We did that uh, horoscope matching like this same uh, virtual platform only. The astrologer was called and the parents of both the sides were present. Otherwise, normally what happens is people, they don't like the proposal. They have the habit of telling me, no, 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 doesn't match. So we are not interested. To avoid that ambiguity, we called both the parents together. And a neutral astrologer was there. And uh, that lady suggested, hey, this can be done, this cannot be done. Consequently, next day, we called them with a different time spot where both the boy and girl, they spoke over our platform and uh, of course they are taking it personally just a five ten minutes interaction no marriages can be finalized <laughs> uh, they are taking it personally and the next version i am planning in the month of uh, jan or february because uh, we are very tightly scheduled uh, i am booked at least happy next six months we have got uh, exposed lined up for one company called uh, e-cargo log they are from dubai in Jan, I am doing it for warehousing. Warehousing, uh, 26, 27, 28, three days uh, warehousing expo. 
then uh, march a 5th to 8th it is uh, pune auto like that we have got uh, six events you have already got finally of course hath mein koi paisa nahi aaya proposals aaye hain to wo bhi aa jayega koi dikkat nahi hai just for the sake of understanding i just want to ask uh, shabash khan yeah typical platform like this what will be the development charge and the duration how big team you require uh i mean uh, there is no straight forward answer to this uh, it, it depends <laughs> on because diplomatic uh, yeah, diplomatic. yeah no, no. it's it's not about being diplomatic it it uh, truly it, it depends on uh, uh, you know what sort of framework are you using what sort of uh, technology what sort of cdn are you using uh, and uh, the people have been uh, making uh, vc or uh, you know remote uh, communication platform for as low as uh, uh, you know i have even heard 1 lakh rupees or 1.5 or 2 lakh rupees uh but uh, having said that there are number of things like latency now uh latency and throughput now i cannot uh, i couldn't feel any lag or any sort of delay in this platform other than a few uh, glitches while while connecting uh, which which i'm sure work, are working that progress is, that is at the user end not our our end i can oh. show you i can take you to i showed you know it hardly takes about 30 second not more than that from live to stream that is it we have got one of the best uh, hosting uh, server from german mm-hmm. okay so i am paying about say 80000 rupees per month only for the unlimited bandwidth and so on it's a vpn yeah. server yeah so, so uh, there, there is very possible and yeah thousand people thousand users coming concurrently and then i using it you know you had it so the development charge whatever it might be it may be even like in house means it is at free of cost it makes no difference but right. still like the hosting that itself is cost this is, the six day event is costing me nothing less than a lakh of rupees right so uh, as you rightly pointed out that you're using some uh, private infrastructure which is costing you a ton lot of money uh, so there is where uh, uh, that that is what essentially i was saying about the cdn what sort of infrastructure you're giving uh, and then one more thing is about redundancy now uh, because all of these systems they are uh, they, they are hard real time systems i mean you cannot uh, afford the downtime so uh, what what sort of redundancy are we keeping in terms of uh, the the data center in terms of uh, uh, the network bandwidth and and those yeah. sort of things uh, both both on the uh, uh, both on the host end as well as on the receiver end yes. our site is gdpr compliant and of course uh, rate for level uh, redundancy we maintain Uh, of course we have other backups also i am basically an information security researcher having worked with a leading brand like kalan motorola and so on so chal raha hai retirement life chal raha hai going on <laughs> so, no, no, good just i want to take one more minute and show my website so that we can uh, see understand what exactly other uh, support we are providing to startups See, we write different stories on different heads. Mm. Okay. You can see the inspiring stories about young entrepreneurs and so on, about the manufacturing industries and about the service industries. And we have one talk of the town. The talk of the town is one thing which we wanted to take into nook and corner of the country and write stories of the small, small, small entrepreneurs. Mm. every city has got its own okay so this uh, like that and like we cover up the stories so stories i myself write this girl is again like okay, she is from chennai of course based at pune mm. okay uh, she started her uh, business uh, at the age of 19 now she is mm. hardly 34 okay so like that now we bring out some stories and do it and of course to our future plans what are the platform that we have developed
पार्थ So it's an e-commerce platform with a 3D real-time walkthrough. Like that, we have done something different out of the box. The front end is, of course, ready. And uh, we'll be launching it soon in 2021. We'll be doing it. So many things are there. One flea market concept is also there, that is going live on January 10th. So that's it. So any suggestions or advice, Shakur Saab backstage, mein hai. I don't know whether he is there online or last out. So any comments, Shakur Saab? Yeah, I think he's not there. So uh, any suggestions, Naik Saab? How do we connect? I will just share my number. Let us stay in touch. It is 800. One second. Eight zero zero. Seven nine one. Seven nine one. One two three four. One two three four. Very nice. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> That's my number. Okay. Seventy four hundred hundred twenty. Okay, sir. I think thanks for okay. your valuable time. Shakur Thank sir. You. Can you come online? We are just going to conclude the session. And if time permits, say join us next time on twenty third and twenty fourth. Okay. So Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me see, but uh, some other time definitely because I have some delivery basically. So okay. you know I will be half-heartedly there, so I don't want to do that. It doesn't okay. look good. Which part of Pune you say? I live in Pimple Sadagar. Pimple Sadagar, okay, just nearby. I stay at Baner Pashan Road. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I, so I, I have a house in Aoun as well. Okay, great. So, uh, you are saying like uh, Kendri Vidyalaya or something like that, the incubation center, where exactly is that? Thing? It is, uh, there are two, three. One is in uh, this thing, uh, uh, Noni Kalbor, then the Mahindra's one, and then one is very nearby. I'm not getting the name of that on my uh, tongue right now. Okay. So, these are the three uh, centers I am. Uh, Attached, and then there is a, a incubation center which is in Baramati, and then oh. BHU. Okay. Very good. Very good. So it's a nice connecting, sir. So I'll uh, definitely stay in touch with you. Let's see. We are open. So anytime, at least give us three months' time to organize everything, and then we'll come with a better version. The front end user interface. We have come with a 360 degree. Walk through also the like what I showed you. This time also I could have done it because of the lower participation. Okay, it was not economical for me to do it. But still, we said okay, we'll do something, some justice to the people and give something better. There are cheaper versions as uh, Shabazz was talking about, uh, just only uh, uh, browser based, but they don't have this type of like uh, interactivity or better features. That is one thing different. And I'll share you, maybe definitely tomorrow, share you the analysis of today's visits and I think so many people are coming and going and what they have interacted. It has got very good response, so much so. The, being the first instant, we never did any social media promotion or whatever it is, only through uh, good wishes and the well wishes and the uh, participant they themselves calling people and doing it so. So we'll make it better if. Uh, 
we make the loud noise and the people understand the difference okay so let's sign up today thanks shabazz and thank you shakur thank Bhav. you so much everyone thank, thank you pathaji thank you shabazz thank you thank you, thank you, thank you, so, much. Thank you so much thank you everyone bye bye thank you bye bye thanks